Xiaomi's Mi Mix 3 comes in a very elegant looking box that's bigger than your average smartphone box. We've got the 6GB RAM variant and 128GB storage variant in the Onyx black finish. So let's take a look at what comes in the box. We first see the phone in the center covered in some plastic. It has a few specifications, notably the DxO Mark 108 rating and that all impressive magnetic slider mechanism. But peeling all of that and putting the phone to the side, next you find a letter from the brand, which is a nice personal touch. And underneath are quite a few accessories. It's nice to see first up an 18 watt wireless charger bundled into the box alongside the USB-C cable for charging and the charging adapter. You have yet another box inside, a smaller one which leads to a rigid and strong case for the Mi Mix 3 with a great finish alongside warranty information and paperwork. Flipping this around, you'll find the SIM ejector tool as well as a USB-C to 3.5mm jack dongle, another very useful accessory. But as for the phone, one thing I've noticed already is that it's pretty heavy at 218 grams. The glass and metal is obviously a contributing factor to this, but the phone's ceramic back may also be a reason for this. In either case, the back is glossier than your average, attracting a fair few smudges with use. And for that reason, the included case is a nice bonus. It fits well and also doesn't hamper the phone's slider mechanism. But looks-wise, it doesn't remain pretty because it also attracts a lot of moisture, so it's gonna be hard keeping this phone clean. Now, you might be wondering how this phone has a Gorilla Glass 5 protected all-screen 6.4-inch Full HD Plus panel with virtually no bezel or a notch. And the answer to that is the slider mechanism. The build quality of the slider is pretty good to be honest. It's magnetic and quite easy to operate, but it's a bit annoying every time you need to take a selfie because that's where the front dual 24 megapixel and 2 megapixel cameras are. Unfortunately, there's no face unlock feature, so you'll have to rely on the hardware fingerprint scanner for biometrics. Software wise, the slider even makes a cool sound when opened, and that alongside its launch app can be customized in the settings. Using the phone and going through various applications has felt snappy so far, and that's thanks to Qualcomm's Snapdragon 845 processor on board the phone. It's an octa-core chipset clocked at 2.8GHz, but Xiaomi's Mi UI 10 is heavily draped over the phone running Android 9.0 Pi. Each element of the UI has core customization built into it from Xiaomi, and I don't know if I like the bloatware or not just yet. But so far, that's all for my impressions. I'm looking forward to testing those dual 12 megapixel cameras out more extensively, and so too that front camera setup for how selfie portraits come out. I'll have to see if Mi UI actually grows on me, and how much I actually rely on that wireless charging kit that comes outside the box considering this is a 3200mAh battery. Stay tuned for more coverage coming very shortly, I'll have camera comparisons as well as speed tests with this phone and other phones in the very near future. Thanks for watching, subscribe for more videos and I'll see you in the next one. Adios!